All right, there we go. Okay. All right, let's move that back. Okay, it looks like we're good now. Alright. I can play now? Okay, cool. Alright, this seems like I'm having some issues with the water. Alright. Alright, well, it looks like we're good now. I don't know what happened, but... Okie dokie. Let me check one more time before I get too comfortable. Alright, we're good. Hell yeah. Okay. It sucks everybody to leave, though, already, but, uh... The weather was giving me some problems, though. Damn. Alright, well, I guess we're fine now, so. Hold on, let me uh, reload my uh, chat and everything. Alright, it looks like we are good to go now. Okay.
All right, finally, shit's working. I don't know what happened earlier. I think it was the weather. I think the weather was fucking with stuff, so... So sorry about the inconvenience, guys. Uh, I think the weather was fucking with things. Right. Right. Okay, yeah, I think it was just the weather. Right. Yeah, now it seems like everything's working again. I don't know. I think it's just the weather fucking my stuff. It is a pretty bad thunderstorm today, though. It's been raining all day. Right. I think it's just the uh, weather fucking with things. Once I gave it a minute, though, it started working fine again. So sorry about the inconvenience. Uh, yeah, I think it's just a, a damn storm fucking with stuff. Yeah, it's fucking with the internet connection. Right, so it's finally working good. My place hasn't had rain for three weeks. Only a little rain for some sometimes. Really, no rain for three weeks? Ooh, goddamn. Damn, that sucks. It must be warm over there then, huh? Yeah, I'd be busting out that fan. I'd be busting out that AC. Well, we uh, beat Setsuna though. That was cool. But damn. Yeah, I definitely be busting out that AC then. Jesus. No range for three weeks. Yeah, I must have just been really tired last night. That shit was not that hard. Okay. Yeah, I must have been, like, fucking exhausted. I don't know. I didn't struggle with that fight at all after I came back. <laughs> well, I guess that's what doing long streams will do to you most of the time, though. I guess long streams like that will do that to you, though. So That's only that's one downside to doing super long streams, I guess. Because that will happen, basically. So... Yeah, I'm surprised I struggle with that now because, uh... I'm kind of surprised I struggled with that fight so much. It wasn't that bad once I, uh... Yeah, we beat it. Yeah, I won the fight. I'm surprised I struggled with it. It was really easy, but I guess that's what happens when you stream for, like, uh, 10 plus hours, I guess. I guess that, uh, stream fatigue was really, uh, sitting in, so... But yeah, we got it, though. I got the 5 SP. Yep, I got my 5 SP out of it, so... You do get SP for it, which is good. At least I got something, so... Yeah, that stream fatigue must have sit in pretty bad. The fatigue must have been sitting in. Yeah, because I came back and I did it first try, so... Came back, beat her first try. Uh, just like that, basically, so... Yeah, I must have been just exhausted, I guess. Yeah, the, um, weather was fucking with my shit. 
Yeah, it's been a pretty bad thunderstorm all day, though. Uh, yeah, we got it back up and running, though. Yeah, I just had to go, uh, fix something. Right, the weather was, uh, fucking with my shit, basically. Pretty bad thunderstorm today. Well, at least we got set soon first try. That was fun. We got her. Finally get that, uh... Maybe it's just this area that the bitrate dies. I got my run back and set Suna, so I'm satisfied. I wish they would have let me uh, take the last 20,000 off of her, but uh, the game didn't let me do it, so. I get my run back, so. I also got a new S Craft, too. It's pretty lit, so. Jesus Christ, that fight was annoying, though. Man, hopefully we get a new Tales game eventually, right? We get a new Tales of game. You know, I don't know what I'd even do if we got a new Tales of game. Like, I'd be, uh, I'd kind of be shocked if we got one. We actually got a new Tales game. Or, you know, a port or something. I don't know. I wouldn't mind PC ports. I wouldn't mind PC ports of older games, but... Especially Zillia. I've never gotten to play Zillia. I want to play that one. I want to play Zillia and Graces. Man, I'm waiting for a new Tells game so fucking bad. Hope we get one eventually. But... Get some new Tells ports at some point. You know, they did say a long time ago. I don't know. I'm probably the only person who remembers this. I think they said they were interested in doing ports at some point, but, uh, I think they lied. <laughs> I, I think they lied about that. Pull out the emulators? I guess we're gonna, I guess I'm gonna have to. Just pull out the emulate the PS3 emulation. Yeah, never played much of Tales, fair enough, Jeremy. on the beach. Hmm. 
All right. Tells of, tells of, tells of, tells of. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, welcome in, man. Hope you're doing good. Hope we're doing good, soul. I'll be honest with you, Zillia, the first one's okay, but a bit screwy, and the sequel will genuinely be miserable if you try to play, pay debt early, forcing you to do random fights for scraps, uh, force you to do random fights for scraps, basically. It's kind of, yeah. L Squall's uh, limit break? It kind of does, yeah. Yeah, it kind of does now that I think about it. Yeah, it kind of does, yeah. It kind of does remind me of that. Kind of does remind me of a uh, Squall's limit break in FF8. It's a pretty cool S craft, though. Anybody else get one? I think just man. Alright. I don't like the newer tales, I'll be honest. The older tales games are more. I like the older tales game more than the modern tales. Day 7,000? <laughs> Is it just going up a thousand days every time, Cisco? It's just gonna go up a thousand days per day. <laughs> day 7,000 and no tells rebirth English. It's just gonna go up a thousand days per day. <laughs> I'm so down bad for this game, bro. Tell the rebirth. I guess you can. 
All right, well, that's kind of a lame way to play it. I don't know if I would do that. It's kind of a lame way to play, but... Mazilia to the economy is not your friend. Sounds like uh, Tales of Arise. The economy wasn't your friend in that game either. Sounds like uh, Tales of Arise gameplay. <laughs> Sounds like Arise, the economy wasn't your pe your friend in that game. Hmm. I don't know, man. I mean, Tales of Arise, man. You know those orange gel prices? Orange gels were fucking insane. Orange gels were beyond ridiculous in that game. Like, Jesus Christ. I think an orange gel was like 10 grand or some shit. <laughs> yeah, it's fine now. Yeah, we got it fixed. I don't know what was going on earlier, but it's fine now, so... That was genuine why I stopped playing it. It wasn't fun, which kind of sucks. I actually found the story okay in Zillia, too. But yeah, orange gels are fucking insane in Tales of Arise, though. You gotta pay like 10k for a fucking orange gel, man. It's fucking... One orange gel is like 10k. What, Tales of Rebirth? Uh, maybe. There's no PSP translation? Oh, damn. Damn, that sucks. They're working on the PS2 version. Ah, I see. I know uh, Destiny's uh, got a translation, but Cisco played that one already. I don't know, man. Maybe Bandai Namco will notice us one day. Maybe they'll notice us one day, Cisco. Maybe they'll start giving us games again. See, my, my pipe dream for the Tell series has always been like a fucking collection pack, I guess. Like a big bundle of them all together for like 60 bucks. Like, I don't know, just bundle like a few games together and put them on a collection. I would love if they did that, like did a bundle. I'd really like to see the Trail series do that too, do like a Sky bundle or something like that. They were bringing back the Sky games to consoles, I'd love to see them do that. No clue about Rise, but Zillia 2, if I recall, random fights didn't drop money. It was like 12 gal? You only got 12 gal? What the fuck? Yeah, like that, exactly like that, yeah, that's exactly what I would like for the, um, yeah, exactly, just like that. You need like 10k to progress the story, oof. Yeah, exactly like that, Jeremy, that's what I would like want out of a RPG bundle pack or whatever. That's exactly what I would want, something like that, basically. Alright, I guess uh, we'll go to our next thing, I guess. So. Second check. I think that would be pretty cool of them to do. Well, I got like one third or so. Through Zillia 2, so I, won't, so I don't want to judge the story. Fair enough. Fair enough, Jeremy. I mean, I can't, am kind of hopeful because they pulled down, um, I am kind of hopeful we're getting a remaster of Zillia pretty soon, but, uh, I don't know, maybe I could be wrong. But they did, they just don't take things off storefronts for no reason, right? Yeah, 
don't know, maybe that's copium, I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm coping, but, uh... I would like to think we're gonna get a Zillia remaster or something in the future. I mean... I don't know, it seems kind of weird just to take it off a storefront like that. Where nobody can buy it anymore, but... Imagine making games so bad you're gonna get... <laughs> the franchise. Lol, only the sequels. I mean, I don't know, doesn't that seem kind of... I don't know, it seems kind of weird. Just, uh... Take it down and not ever bring it back. Nah, emulation's your best bet. You buy the first game, then the DLC pack. Yeah, maybe, am I coping? Maybe I'm coping. Yeah, it's probably cope. <laughs> it's probably cope to actually do something with the franchise. Instead of just sit on it. Well, it's been a it's been a long ass time since I played it on top five reasons to get a PC. Yo, PC gaming speak. I can mail you my copy if you want it. Been trying to get rid of the thing anyway. What tells Azilia? Wh which one, Zillia or uh, Zillia too? I'll take either. I'll take either, I just, I'll take either. I got a buddy of a PS3 I can probably borrow. <laughs> probably borrow my uh, buddy PS3 for a while. I don't own a PS3. Yo, is that the final boss from the first game that we just saw in the uh, S-Craft there? Yeah, it looks like the final boss. Nope, I wouldn't be able to play this RM if it wasn't for the PC. That's why PC is peak. Our controller just died. I might need to buy a new controller too. Let's get on that. Okay. Controller's fucking up, I see. Controllers to get in the fuck up. Okay. Well, need to get new controllers. Yeah, PC gaming is uh, pretty top tier. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why people, more people don't just play on PC, to be honest, but. More people should get a PC. Yeah, because the PC, I can play this early, so, yeah. This is nice, so. I don't know, there's a, um, there might be a PS3 emulator. Yeah, I think there is a PS3 emulator. I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna look into getting that. But, uh, there is a PS3 emulator, I think, that I could, uh, emulate those games on. Yeah, I need to buy a new controller. Yeah, I need to buy a new controller, honestly. This old Xbox controller I've been using. Getting ready to shit out on me, basically. Yeah, there's an old Xbox controller that's gonna get shit out on me. That's another cool thing about PC. You play whatever controller you want, honestly. That's really cool. Use whatever controller you're most comfortable with. My hands are kind of big, so I prefer the Xbox controller. I got bigger hands, so. 
That's why I prefer the Xbox controller. My hands are bigger. It's more, like, I find the Xbox controller more comfortable. I don't know, maybe that's just me, though. I find it to be the most comfortable one. But anybody find a controller they find most comfortable? As long as Steam detects it? Yeah. That is true. As long as Steam detects your controller. God damn, we were getting our asses whooped, okay. <laughs> damn. He is whooping our ass right now. Oh, fuck. He's not the zell. Oh no, it's anime pretty boy number seven. You know, I wonder if the Grendel, Grendel would have been enough to deal with this guy. Wait a minute. Yeah, Van can transform now, right? I mean, uh, Anya, Agnes is right there. Damn. All right, that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, we beat, yeah. Yep, we beat her. We got the 5 SP. We beat Setsuna. I got it done first try after uh, coming back after a rest, so... After coming back after a good rest, I got it first try. So, yeah, it's Asuna with beat. I get my 5 SP. Yes, I get my uh, 5 SP. So, you get 5 SP if you do it. I sent you the info in your DM. Oh, okay, cool. Let me uh, check my uh, Discord DMs. Oh, shit. Okay. Dang, I have to go borrow my buddy's PS3, though, to play it. Dang, I'd have to go borrow my buddy's PS3. Okay. Dang, I'd have to go ask my buddy to borrow his PlayStation 3 to play it, though. Because I don't own a PS3, unfortunately. Dang. I'd have to go ask for my buddy's PS3, though. See if my buddy let me borrow it. So I can even play the game. Man, why can't they just make these games more available? Making games more available would be nice of companies to do, but not available. Alright. Wait, are they trying to fly out of this?
Damn, yeah. Wait, they're trying to fly out of this place? I don't think it's gonna work, man. Hmm. Right.君たちのことは信頼しているだがそれはあくまで友人としてだ。おお、ピュリゴアゲン。あ、シェット。オーライ、ヒュリゴアゲン。君たちの器を。この状況を託すに。あたいするか。もう責ありません。ですが、破壊の脅威を考えれば必要でしょう。ディフィカチを守りする立場としても。ああ。仕方ねえ。私の見届けます。こうされるのは娘として兄様が認めた裏解決屋の皆様のあり方
Nice, nice crit. Let's go. Oh, nice crit. All right, nice crit. Nice crit. Everybody. 
But yeah, hope everybody's having a good day though. Everybody's been having a great uh, evening or day, wherever, whatever time it's at, where you are. Good, just relaxing. That's good to hear, Adriana. Yo, that's pretty cool. I like this S craft. Yeah, he's got a pretty cool new S craft. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Cost got new. anymore. Oh, so that is his whole S. That's his whole S craft. Yo, no, that's really cool. That's a badass S craft. Come to me, boss. Oh, I see you're finally seeing Vance upgrade S-Craft. 
Which, uh, yeah, that's really cool. Incorporates in demon form. Yeah, pretty much the final boss of the first game, yeah. The first Kuro game, that was pretty cool. Yeah, we beat that uh, Sasuna fight, too. Holy shit, that Sasuna fight. Although, I think I was pretty tired last night when I did it. That's why I had so many issues with that one. But hey, welcome in, Joshua. I think I was really tired when I did that Setsuna fight. That's probably why I had so many issues there. Yeah, I probably should have gone on the bed <laughs> before I did that fight. Yeah, I must have been tired as shit when I did that. Because I came back and I did it first try, so... Came back and I did the fight, like, right off rip. <laughs> so, it didn't take very long at all. So yeah, I must have been tired as hell that day, I guess. Nice, you play Tales Symphonia Remaster. Nice. Nice, Joshua. Can't remember you get his Grendel craft straight away. Or it's later in the story. Uh, nice. Oh, yeah, he does have another S craft for Grendel, right? I did see this uh, option for that. I did see an option for that. This is about to be beyond overkill. It's just the Grendel ver Ah, okay. Nice. I see. Still looks cool though? That is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm surprised you got a new S-Craft. You just learn it at level 38. Yeah, you just learn it at level 38, so that's pretty cool. Bro, after fighting Setsuna, this was easy as fuck. <laughs> God damn, that Setsuna boss was kind of rough. Yeah, after dealing with Setsuna, it's 200,000 HP. Yeah. And uh, s craft spam, you know, this wasn't too bad. That Prince from the Empire. But yeah, how was everybody's uh, evening? Adriana says hers is good. Right. Are you talking about um Prince from the Empire? Are you talking about Olivia or are you talking about um Cedric? You say he's Prince from the Empire, so then I guess he's referring to Olivia. That's what I'm guessing. He's referring to Olivia, because I don't think he ever met Cedric, did he? I don't think Swin ever met him. I don't think Swin ever got to meet Cedric. So he has to refer to a Olivier, I guess. That's who I guess he's referring to. As uh, Olivier. Had a feast of the family for Easter? Nice, nice. Then yeah, S-Craft is still my favorite in the series. Just do it styled in the cut-ins from the, um... Have the cut-ins from each form. Oh, nice. Oh, you're talking about Reen's. Okay. Right, Reen's, uh, final one. Welcome back to my Zenorian playthrough. Have fun, man. Enjoy that. Hope you enjoy your, uh, playthrough, man. Hope you enjoy your Zenorian mode run. So, yeah. Hope you have fun with that. Just relaxing. Nice, nice. What, your uh, Unicorn Overlord run? Yeah, I think you did two back-to-back -back playthroughs. Yeah, that would be uh, pretty exhausting. I guess you can bench your best units and uh, just go full masochism, I guess. <laughs> bench your OP units and just go full masochism. 
I tried adding a fox and a horse to the team, but it did not work. Oof. Have you tried the uh, crossbow class? Crossbow class is pretty fun. I meant more like, oh yeah, I meant more just like build ideas. Oh, okay. You meant just more like build ideas instead of ideas to make the game harder? Okay. More like just build ideas? Did you hot? Did you try Hilda's Dragon Dive Squad? Hilda's Dragon Dive Squad was pretty good. Yeah, Hilda's Dragon Dive Team is pretty fun. I don't know if you ran that build though. Yeah, Reen's bottom one, which got made even better in the post game of Hajimari. I got what they called it in English, but I think they translated the Breaking Dawn. Yeah, it's Breaking Dawn. Yeah, yeah, it's called Breaking Dawn in English. Right, that's the one Breaking Dawn. That's what it uh, translated to in English. Is uh, Breaking Dawn. And 60 HP is useful. 10. Oh, nice. You have the frost dive? Okay, nice. Alright, nice. You've been using frost dive. Frost dive is pretty fun. Man, hopefully we get another game that plays like Hajimari. I can only imagine what the Hajimari game for uh, this arc is going to be. If we get a Hajimari game for this one. How many characters are going to be? Like, holy shit. They bring characters from... Um, the Empire 2. Although I guess I'm going to try to make a complete clown team. Can you imagine a Hajimari game? If they're going to include all the Kuro characters. All the Liberal characters. Huh. All the Crossbell characters. Holy shit, that'd be a lot of playable characters. Kai supposedly is from what they've been saying. Kai is supposedly? Really? Kai's gonna be a Hajimari game? It's gonna be like, okay. Oh, so Kai's gonna be one? Oh. Well, that's got me excited then. My Nia's <laughs> make the team, make that team work. Oh, that's got me excited then. Oh shit, we're gonna get another one like that? Another, uh... Huh, another Hajimari light game. Oh, we got the key. <laughs> You know, I kind of feel like these two are going to be end up being playable characters in the future. That's why Kai's going to be hype? Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't wait to make some busted builds in Kai. <laughs> man, I'm going to be so jealous. <laughs> People are playing that game, and I'm going to be here waiting. I'm going to be jealous as fuck while I'm waiting to play Kai. No Kaseki. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to be jealous as fuck looking at all these overpowered builds. <laughs> God damn, that's just gonna be hype, dude. So many OP builds. Uh, oh man. I can't wait. I'm just thinking about the build potential. It's actually Hajimari, man. That game was fun to build characters in, man. I'll just say we know a bunch of important characters returning in Kai. So I'm gonna let you figure out. Be prepared to see a good portion of the class. This game hints some more, too. You know, we did see Toa. Uh, Toa's back, but. 
We did see Toa here, so Toa's been here in um, Calvert. Really? Holy shit. Damn. Hell of a sniper. I feel like these two are going to be playable characters at some point, though, in the future. They just have designs that feel like they'd be playable characters. <laughs> these two. Yeah, Toad's here for a reason. Ha! <laughs> Everybody calls Van an old man. Alright. Poor Van's always getting called an old man by everybody. Damn, he respects Van? Okay. <laughs> Damn. Plus, it's been two years now since Reem was told by Suzuna to get a better sword. For what's to come, make of that what you will. Man. Yeah? Oh, man. Yo, Reen better be badass when he comes back, man. They better not do my boy Reen dirty, okay? I put a lot of care and love into his build, okay? Better not do my boy Reen dirty, man. I put a lot of care and love to that shit. Man, they make my boy Reen dirty, man. They do him dirty when he comes back. I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad if he comes back and he plays like dog shit. <laughs> I'm going to be so fucking mad. If they uh, make him a bad character. Yeah, I'll be fucking pissed. I put a lot of care and love into my Reen builds, man. I had this crazy-ass delay build in Cold Steel 2. I think Jeremy saw Cold Steel 2, right? Were you here for Cold Steel 2, Jeremy? I had this crazy ass delay build in Cold Steel 2. It was fucking stupid. <laughs> I would just instantly delay the fucking bosses. It was fun as hell, though. It was a really fun build, though. Delay the bosses to fucking death. <laughs> oh, I miss my delay build. Oh, man. I miss those days. Where you can just delay the fuck out of a boss. Those days were fun. Put a lot of care and love in that build. Man, Adriana knows about the build. I put a lot of care and love into that shit, man. <laughs> I put a lot of care and love into my delay build. <laughs> I wanted to delay everything to death. Man, we even, uh, we even hooked up with Sharon. <laughs> we even hooked up with Sharon to get the item that gave me more delay. <laughs> Sharon Gate? I don't know if anyone... Anybody remember Sharon Gate? <laughs> we spent a lot of time with Sharon just for that item to give me more delay. <laughs> and after I got that item, well, uh, it just we just kind of ran with the build after I got that item, so... Yeah, after I got that item, we just kind of ran with it. At least now he can do the thing where he comes in and saves the party now instead of constantly being cutting from Valimar going ogre mode. Right, yeah. Damn. I miss Valimar, man. Valimar was a bro. It went from delay build to chrono burst build. Basically, yeah. As the meta changed, it went from delay to chrono burst and a lot of critical hits. 
Yeah, I went from delay the chrono burst to critical hit, <laughs> basically. Dude, that chrono burst shit was stupid. <laughs> At least you like pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do anything of her character, man. I didn't use her whatsoever. <laughs> I didn't use Elysia at all. <laughs> Elysia was permanently on the bench for me. I don't think she ever came off the bench. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't think she ever left my bench. <laughs> I think she always stayed on the bench. Unless the game forced me to use her. I mean, no need to miss Valmar anymore. At the end of Hajimari's anything to go by. You know, that is true, yeah. Yeah, at the end of Hajimari's anything to go by, yeah. That is true. We're going off the base and get the ending of Hajimari. That is true. Leaves it like you hooking up with my maid. <laughs> I'm just imagining the match. Ma the mech battles in action mode after experimenting with the minigame. That would be really cool, yeah. Damn, the mech battles would be pretty fucking awesome. That would be pretty cool. Because no one plays the least. <laughs> Alicia and Sharon are a two for one pack. Can't have one about the other, basically. They're basically a two for one deal. Buy one, get the other free. <laughs> basically, can't have one about the other. They're a two for one deal. Buy one, get the other free. You're not wrong. It's like Estelle and Joshua, man. You can't have Estelle about Joshua. You can't have Joshua about Estelle. Damn, I felt so bad for Estelle and uh, Sky too, though. I think one of the moments in the series that got me the most on an emotional level. I think it was seeing Estelle, like, break down and cry. Like, seeing Estelle break down and cry when she thought Joshua was going to be back home. I think that's one of the moments that got me the most, actually. Like, from a character. It's just seeing her just break down like that. Tell you what, Anton better return in Kai. Haven't seen him in a couple games now. No, we haven't seen him in a while, have we? I think that's one of the moments that uh, really uh, made me feel for Estelle was just watching her break down like that. 
Like, the girl had a mental breakdown because Joshua was just gone. I felt really bad for her. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it made me feel some empathy for Estelle <laughs> and her uh, struggle. キミの悪まで we need Anton? Yeah, I wonder if Olivier's gonna show back up too. I wanna see what his and Sharon's kid looks like. I wonder what Sharon and Olivier's baby's gonna look like. Oh shit. I wonder who is Reen's disciple gonna be? Since he's the new Divine Blade? You know what? That is a good question, Jeremy. Who is Reen's uh, disciple gonna be? You know what? I can see Kurt. I think Kurt, yeah. I can see Kurt, actually, being Reen's disciple. Yeah, I can see uh, Kurt, maybe? I don't know. Kurt being the disciple of the uh, Eight Leaf School. Right, Kurt would make a lot of sense. Kurt already has the Vander School? That is true. Kurt does already have the Vander School, though. Right, well, they're gonna rule out, a uh, Kurt. Mmm. Maybe we do have one of Reen's... Maybe we do have one of Reen's students in Calvary going to the same school with Agnes. Yeah, Kurt's already using the Vander style. Yeah, the transfer student. Or chain student. Formation Delta? Right. Okay. Let's do this. Yes, sir. <laughs><笑>やってみせます Oh, 
だけなあちゃんと似た者同士の匂いがする無駄口叩いてる場合か来るぞシャード展開敵戦力の無力化を開始する It'd be interesting to see a much older ring considering he is now true successor to Ailey style. Just waiting for that Reem versus Jin Fei battle? That'd be cool. So, alright, here's a good question, right? I've always wondered who's stronger, Cassius or... Ca not Cassius, but Arios or uh, Reen at this point? Wouldn't it be Reen technically? Because Reen's mastered, what, all eight styles? I think Reen got the Void, right? So I guess we're going by that logic. I guess Reen would be stronger. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I feel like a Reen versus Arios battle would be interesting. Reen versus Arios. I kind of want to see that fight happen. My end of Hajimari, Reen? Okay, I can see that. I know I know we fought that fake Arios. It wasn't the real Arios, so, you know, we fought the fake Arios. And that was much like a robot, basically. <laughs> Basically just a robot Arios. But it was still a cool scene in the game though. So it was still pretty cool. Still a pretty cool scene though. Real Arios. I'd love to see Cassius versus Reen, but very serious. Huh, Cassius versus Reen? That would be interesting. Arya is still the most proficient in the Gale form. As that's his main focus, Reen just has battle overall grasp of each, plus the Void, which is harder to obtain. Right, the Void is harder to obtain, basically. The Void style. That's uh, harder to obtain, but Arius is better in the wind style. Or Gale. Green versus uh, Cassius in a serious match? Huh. Dang. Maybe? Uh, uh, maybe still Cassius. I don't know. Cassius is a fucking monster, right? Might still be Cassius at that point. I don't know. Cassius Bright's a monster. Oh, I insta-killed. Nice. Okay. I know Cassie is actually a fucking monster still. I mean, Arios is stronger than Cassius. And the gap will... I mean, Arios is stronger than Cassius. The gap will continue to widen. Cassius... Mmm. Right. You know, I'm surprised uh, Cassius Arios is stronger than Cassius. I did not expect that, actually. I <laughs> actually wasn't expecting that. I always thought Cassius was stronger than Arios. I don't know, the way it makes it seem, it's like, the way they portray it, it's like uh, Cassius is like, I don't know, like the level of God, basically, <laughs> at this point. Well, remember, well, I guess Cassius refuses to pick up a sword again after what happened. So I guess it's kind of unfair, because dude refuses to pick up a sword again. Right? Cassius refuses to pick up a sword again, ever. After uh, what happened to his wife. Dude refuses to. I think he made a special exception just to give Reem the test, basically. The only exception he ever made. Jesus, do it. Hmm. 
Cassius probably could have been stronger than Arios if he didn't ditch the sword training. Required to be proficient with the forms. Yeah. He didn't ditch it. Yeah. He probably could have, yeah. He didn't ditch the uh, sword. But, can't see Cassie's ever picking it back up now. That it's found its place in the uh, grand scheme of things. And he seems content, yeah. Basically, uh, seems content where he's at. I guess Richard is basically Cassie's uh, spiritual successor, though. Richard. I guess Richard is basically his uh, spiritual successor. Imagine a fight against Yen Fei, against Serene, Setsuna, Amalanche, Richard, Arios. I can see that being a cool set piece. That would be a cool set piece. That would be a pretty cool set piece. Damn, it's all of them going at it. That would be pretty cool. God damn, dude, that shit just nuke him? Jesus Christ. Holy shit.
That did a surprising amount of damage. I do like how Kuro wanted to have guest characters join the battle. Even you can't control them. It's cool to have the other characters be a part of the battle without having the rearrange party set up. That is really nice. I like that a lot. And they're also helpful in battle, too. I mean, it's a free uh, attack, basically. So, they are also pretty helpful. It is a free attack that you probably wouldn't have. You just had controllables, so. So, yeah, they're fun to take advantage of, too, in that regard. It's like a free party member, basically, that you can just do, you can just have do random attacks. That's always pretty helpful as well in combat. Yeah, they are handy to set up near Van because he's normally away from all the other party members to keep them safe. Don't have to worry too much with the guest characters, though. Yeah, that is really nice. Don't have to worry about too much of the guest characters at all. Jesus Christ. Shit is getting fucking crazy, dude. God damn. The damn fixtures totally knew this to happen. Damn. God damn, this shit's getting nuts. At this point, just cut, <laughs> cut the tower and make him make him fall. I mean, yeah, you might as well. I mean, he's locked up in that tower. You might as well just knock the tower over at that point. Huh? Why didn't you just... Okay, Chief. I don't know why you wouldn't just... You know what I find weird about this scenario? Is like... Everyone just assumes Van's doing the wrong thing. And they're getting the fights with him. <laughs> so I find so weird about the scenario. Like, Elaine... The Elaine thing was so stupid, man. 
Oh my god, I complained about that. Uh, the Elaine fight was so stupid. Because, like, Elaine, you've known Van long enough to know he's not doing anything... Not doing this for a bad reason. He has a reason why he's doing it. His hand was forced into it. Yeah, that fight was pointless. Like, that shit was so dumb, bro. I just had a face palm moment like, Elaine, what the fuck? <laughs> Have you known this man long enough, bro? <laughs> like... It gets worse? Jesus. そう。たとえ年離れず妹が相手だろうとも、俺は戦う。己の内なる炎が揺るがぬ限りは、それは似て非なる覚悟とあり方だろう。ある種の欺瞞の上に成り立つ戦士と考えるがに自分の納得がい
Because I think the Steam achievements told me this is uh, Chapter 6, basically. And we've hardly used the Grendel once <laughs> in this game. Yeah, we've hardly used it once in this game, but in the first game, we were using that motherfucker all the time. <laughs> like, every big finale, we uh, finished off with the Grendel, basically, yeah. Like, basically every huge finale of a chapter, you had a Grendel fight. Like, the coolest one was the one in the uh, desert place. Oh, man, that shit was cool. Where you fight the lion. That was, like, one of the coolest Grendel fights where you, like, fight the fucking lion, dude. Yeah, that shit was cool, dude. I really enjoyed that fight. Like, every uh, one, like, had a big Grendel fight. Yeah, in this game, we hardly used it, though, surprisingly. Hardly used the Grendel at all. <laughs> Yeah, the Grindel stuff only really gets touched closer to the end, if that. Man, I like, man, I like the Grindel stuff, man. The Grindel stuff was cool, like, oh man. Yeah, the Grindel was cool as fuck in the first game, like, I really enjoyed it. I wish they would have had more Grindel in this game. All right, the Grindel stuff was fun as hell. <laughs> it was a cool form, too. It was just as cool as Divine Knights, in my opinion. We were fighting, like, these demonic beasts and shit, like, it was awesome. Like, and then the music would go fucking crazy. Like, oh man, that shit was cool, dude. God, and the final boss of Kuro 1? That's really fucking awesome. I love the final boss of Kuro 1. You know, this might be... Alright, this might be a hot take, because I'm only... I'd say halfway through the game, maybe. But I'm starting to think Kuro 1 was a better game, in my opinion. I don't know, I like the first game better than the second game here. Maybe that's a hot take, though. I don't know if I can say that just yet, because I'm not quite finished, but, uh... But maybe, uh, I can almost safely say I like Kuro 1 better than, uh, Kuro 2, but... I just found the first game a little more enjoyable. Maybe I can safely say that. Like, the first one's one of my favorite trail games ever. It's such a good game. It's Kuro 1. That was a really good video game. Just in general, a good-ass game. Yeah, the Grendel stuff is cool. The amount of people I've seen not realize Grendel armor looks like, um, Mick Burns. Yo, you know what? You know what? I think I pointed this out when I played Cold Steel. It's like they were in Cold Steel 2, and I think uh, I was playing Cold Steel 2. I think I was playing Cold Steel 2. I think I said, um, you know, that kind of looks like Van's uh, transformation, right? Because we saw a transformation back at one of the shrines or whatever that kind of looked like the Grendel, and I think I pointed it out. I didn't know it was called the Grendel back then, but I think I pointed it out when I played, like, Cold Steel 2. Like, it was at the end. Yeah, it was, like, the end of Cold Steel 2. And it looked exactly like the Grendel for some reason, because that's when uh, Nissa was showing off the trailers, I guess. For the game, they showed off the Grendel, so that's kind of how I recognized it. They kind of showed off what the Grendel looked like. It does kind of, the Grendel does kind of look like Mick Burns. Yeah, the Grendel does kind of look like uh, Mick Burns in general. Story-wise, at least. Right, what did I have some uh, foreshadowing, like, way ahead of time? These games tend to do crazy uh, foreshadowing. I wonder if it's, like, some uh, crazy foreshadowing. A lot of these games do crazy foreshadowing.
Oh shit. I have been kind of wondering what has Mick Byrne been up to. I think Mick Byrne's been uh, looking for his purpose again, basically. Last time we heard from him. I'm still waiting for Falcon to confirm. Hopefully, uh... During Kai and I, Uta's connected. Connected to the Kaseki series. You know, I've been debating on playing that. Is that game any good? I've been debating on playing, um, Nayunta. Because I haven't played it yet. I completely skipped it. But, um, is that game any good, though? Is it a good game? Now, I'm not expecting to be on the level of, like, a mainline Trails game. But, uh, is it at least fun? I've been debating on streaming that when I'm done with this. So. I've been debating on streaming it after I finish this, but... Hey, what? Rin? Rin's here? Rin? Wait, what's wrong? Wait, what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Wait a minute, they just walked into a poison room and died. <laughs> they just walked into a room of poison gas and died. <laughs> what? Oh shit. It's closer to the early 3D wise game in terms of gameplay and graphics, but lore wise. Alright, so basically I should play it then. Okay. I guess I'll play that. Okay. So I should play that then. Okay. Okay, so basically I should play it then. Okay. Well, I will definitely give it a play then. Hello, haunted room. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Ran! What? Oh shit, we got beheaded! Oh shit! Wow, we got beheaded by Ren? Oh shit. <laughs> wow, what the fuck? We got beheaded by Ren. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's a whole lot of death happening on this fucking night. We got, we got fucking beheaded. Jesus. <laughs> you got fucking beheaded, dude. Because Ren got possessed, he just got fucking beheaded by the Angel of the Slaughter. God, the Angel of the Sla Angel of the Slaughter, yeah. She's fucking beheaded us. Yeah, she just beheaded us, bro. <laughs> she just chopped her head off with her scythe. Jesus Christ, she got beheaded. Wait a minute, wait, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> huh. huh. All right. Rin, Rin, careful. Your multiple personalities are showing. Right, yeah, she has multiple personalities. Oh snap, here comes the, uh, this situation. Alright bro, we about to, hold up, I need to get this chest before I leave here. No, I, I didn't see this up here. Hacking chest, yay! Alright. SP chest. Oh shit. I am fucking terrible at these. I am fucking terrible at these hacking chests. Her multiple personalities, yep. Yeah, 
Oh, shit. Or right, the thing hit me before I can do anything, huh? Many years of playing rhythm slash memory games have led me to this moment. <laughs> oh man, I'm terrible at rhythm games. Jesus Christ. Oh man, I am not gonna get these fucking SP chests. God, I am terrible at these kind of games. I'm not gonna get this fucking SP chest, bro. God damn it. Oh, I'm so bad at this shit. Oh man, I'm so bad at this kind of thing. Jesus Christ. Alright, bro. Get good, boy! Yeah, you want to activate the, um... You want to activate the trap for the... For that ring so you're trying to do the puzzle? Get good, boy! <laughs> Get good, boy! <laughs> Get good at these. <laughs> Yeah, time to do the puzzle? Yeah. God damn, I'm terrible at these. Take your time with the puzzle. They give you plenty of time so you don't have to rush for the most part. Okay. Right, we need to activate the trap for the thing. We'll, uh... All right, cool. All right, cool. I got it. Right, you got the Phoenix. Okay. Okay, cool. I got it. Woo! All right. Yeah, I'm going to suck at those. Jesus. All right. The orbital locks. Nice! I'm surprised I got it. I didn't think I was going to get it, but, uh... A little A master type that needs to keep moving, can't stand still. Exactly, man. I got a, I got it, bro. I got, lo I low key got ADHD, man. Like, bro, I gotta keep moving, bro. <laughs> God damn, like, bro, I gotta move. <laughs> I low key got some ADHD going on here, man. Like, Jesus. <laughs> Two new drivers. Two new art drivers. All right. <laughs> I hope you got the ADHD going on over here. Like, bro, 
I can't stand still for two seconds. <laughs> Oh, that's shit again, yeah. Right, so, uh... We're gonna get beheaded again? Yep, we're gonna get beheaded again. Huh? Right, I just followed the thing, and, uh, yeah. I literally just followed the thing, but, uh... Right, okay, I shouldn't have just followed the thing. Right, I just followed the thing and, uh, yeah, we got beheaded again. Right, yeah, I'm dead again. Okay. Right, okay, well, let's get out of the building. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to follow the thing, but, uh, head to the church people. Okay. I, for some reason, decided to, uh, follow the thing for some reason. I don't know. Alright, well, let's, uh, head back. Yeah, I know I found it earlier. Right now, right here. Oh, rides in that town area I couldn't uh, go to before. Right. Yeah, I know I found it earlier. The church building is, uh, behind- Oh, you mean, like, the actual church? Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought you meant to where we- Okay. Oh, never mind. I thought you meant to where we found the, um... Alright. Never mind. Okay. I remember we saw the Grawl Setter in, like, a town area. That's where I was thinking they'd be at, but, uh, okay. Find your current building. Oh, okay. Right, my bad. I thought you meant the town area for some reason that we found. Looks like an abandoned town or something. Mmm, okay. Right, because I remember seeing an abandoned town for some reason, thinking it'd be, uh, that'd be the place. Right, I remember seeing, like, an abandoned town or something. Right, let's look through this tunnel. Nah, my bad. Yeah, I was thinking this place for some reason. I don't know why. It's like the first place I thought when you said the Grawls, the church people. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, I remember seeing them over there. Alright. Damn, Rin getting possessed by her multiple personalities again. Isn't that abandoned church is close to like the beach? You had to go into the haunted building, exit out the back. Ah, okay. Right. Yeah, you had to go into the haunted building, then exit out the back, then go into the church. Okay, I see. <laughs> then go to the church. Okay. From my memory? Okay. Alright, skip this, I guess. I see you uh, don't turbo much in Kuro compared to the previous games. Yeah, not near as much, yeah. I mean, these games uh, feel a lot faster in the previous games. Uh, it feels a lot faster. Than the uh, previous ones. Shit, am I dead again? 
Wait a minute. Right. Okay. All right, cool. We got it. Yeah, this game just feels a lot faster than the other games did. So, uh, yeah, I don't turbo near as much here because they feel a lot faster. So. The game just feels a lot quicker. Right, now it's supposed to go to the abandoned village. Okay. And plus, being able to kind of move characters around a command mode does kind of cut down on finding, on fielding a bit. It gives you something. You, yeah, exactly. For me, it uh, gives me something to do while I'm, like, uh, moving around, basically. Because uh, you can move around during command mode now. So it makes the game feel a lot quicker. I do have the run button on all the time, though. I am uh, on that run button life. <clears throat> Figuring out your current move, yeah. Right, don't tell me I'm going to have to fight you guys, too. <laughs> right, so I'm going to have to fight you guys, okay. Fight all three of you two. Unless I'm doing an an RP walk out to a story segment, I'm always running as well. I usually use turbo when uh, retreading areas I've already explored, though. Fair enough. Yeah, I always have that run button just pressed. <laughs> Unless you're role playing and just walking to the story area. Sam, I just turbo through the garden sometimes too. Just turbo through the garden. Yeah, the garden uh, feels like the Reverie Corridor. Yeah, that garden feels like the uh, Reverie to Corridor. Like, feels exactly like it. I guess that's what they were going for, though. I guess they wanted to kind of recreate co the corridor. Hmm. Right, church still hunting down their artifacts. Still hunting down the artifacts, okay.
Hmm. Yeah, Reverie Court Garden should be in every game, honestly. Gives you a convenient way to grind for courts and gear and level up characters. It's really nice. It's a really nice place for leveling, too. And you get a shit ton of Seraph. The Seraph is awesome. And you get an ass ton of it. Being able to go into almost... Being able to go almost whatever you want is great too. That is nice. ああ、てめえらにも事情はあるだろ。その uh, here we go again. Ah, oh, shit. Yep. Jesus Christ, alright. <laughs> Yeah, if you're low on money, it's a great way to get some by earning Mira and selling a quirk you don't need. I like upgrading my crafts. Dude, that's awesome. New upgrade. Here we go. Oh, shit. We got to fight again for a dumb reason. There a dumb reason for us to fight. All right. <laughs> you know, let's go a lot smoother. We just both work, to we work together, you know. All right. I guess we got to fight again. Be a lot smoother. We just work together, but all right. <laughs> it goes so much smoother. We just work together, guys. Apparently no, 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 what work together is? <laughs> I guess not. Come blue as the sky. Yo, this is a cool SS craft, though. I like this craft a lot.
Yeah, it's way better in Vandalizer Raid. Yeah, it's a really nice s -draft. This is gonna hit like a fucking truck. Right. Right, that's why I, I did that, because I didn't want her to get the crit. <laughs> I did not want her to have this crit, so I uh, took it away. Right, I didn't want her to have this crit, because I would have just basically nuked everybody. I didn't let her have it. I will say, though, I hate how Kuro handles um, the bar and AT bonuses. I prefer how Cold Steel, the Cold Steel arc, clearly seeing what is coming and able to... Able to cut in instead of having to hopefully steal. Yeah, that's basically what I did there. I had to just hope and pray I stole her uh, bonus or crit. Because, uh, yeah, I was not trying to die to that crit there. I was trying not to die to a random crit. Awesome. Man, it's so goddamn tanky. Right, more S-Craft. 
F craft us right now. And Kurochu has a lot of boss encounters where the bosses cut in with s crafts without warning. Which can suck if you're mid setting up something up. Game punish- yeah, You know what? That happened! That happened to me when I fought Setsuna! I lost to Setsuna so many fucking times because, uh... Well, I was trying to set up and then... Out of fucking nowhere, she just used an s craft out of nowhere. Like, she just, uh... Out of nowhere, she just using the F craft, you know. <laughs> I don't know where she just decides the S craft, so that shit happened to me. That shit happened to me so many times in that optional Setsuna fight. I swear to God, that shit happened so many fucking times there. Shizuna, ah fuck, I always fuck up her name. Shizuna, Shizuna, ah, I fuck her name up. Ah, excuse me, I am butchering her name. <laughs> Shizuna. Fuck, I'm boosting your name right now. But that shit happened so many fucking times, though, in that one fight. The uh, optional fight uh, fucked me up because of that. He just randomly got a fucking ass crapped on me without warning. Without warning, I'd be getting hit with an S craft. Reminds you of RP James Setsuna. Like, I could understand the gimmick, one or two bosses, but no. So much. She Shizuna. Oh, it's Shizuna? Okay. Right, so it's pronounced it Shizuna. Okay. Shizuna. Yeah, Shizuna fucked me up so many times with that shit. Where the game was just like giving her uh, random S crafts that I wasn't prepared for. Oh, I am Setsuna? I played that one. That's far from I went. Shizuna. Okay. Shizuna. Okay, that's amazing. Sense. Yeah, I played that one. That's a pretty good one. A pretty good RPG. Yeah, I played that on the Switch when it came out. I didn't stream it, but that was before I was streaming. But, uh, yeah, that's a pretty fun one. Shizuna. But yeah, I got fucked up by that shit a lot in the optional she's doing a fight. The optional she's doing a fight fucked me up. Although I came back today and I got it first try, so I was happy with that. Right, man. Good shit. Shizuna.
All right, nice, easy peasy. Right. Oh, shit. Bruh! Wait! Wait! Bruh! So, wait a minute, you're telling me this fight was completely po- Alright. Bruh, why didn't you just listen to us in the first fucking placement, man? <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude! <laughs> Bro, they should've just fucking listened! We wouldn't have to do that whole battle. <laughs> Bruh, I should have just fucking listened in the first place. Hmm, some cursed illness. Bro, you guys could have just listened to us in the first place. <laughs> right, bro, we could have just avoided this whole situation if we just listened. Wayne Celeste, she is hot headed. <laughs> You're starting to understand. Without knowing. Right, and we got beheaded, yeah. Right, they would have just listened to what we wanted. Uh, this probably wouldn't have been a problem. Okay. <laughs> I mean, she is kind of a hothead, so I guess she kind of started it, so. This game should be called Kuro 2. If only we thought slash talked for one minute, most of our problems wouldn't exist. It's kind of <laughs> kind of a long title, but it could work. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> if they would have just talked for one minute, <laughs> half the problems in this game wouldn't exist. Right. They would have just talked for a second. Their weapon is the talking. <laughs> All right. Now there's the whole BS with the Lee family, man. The Lee family situation, that shit is, uh, complicated. That's shit. Yeah, the whole cow... Ca bleh, I can't pronounce his name. Co... Co? Yeah, I'm gonna say Co. Whatever, Co. I'm pretty... That sounds right, Co. The whole Co situation is kind of weird, too. 
He just magically found out the guy was his brother. <laughs> Coley. Yeah, they could make the uh, eight. They could make the bonuses bigger. Cause like, if you weren't paying attention to them, yeah, you probably never notice them. You'd think after dying this many times now, they very easily preventable situations. They could be a bit more aware and focused and not dying again. You know, it's just like I guess for this game story to work, I guess they just have to make all the characters stupid. I guess they have to dumb down all the characters just to make this game story work, I guess. I guess they have to. Because, like, I don't know, I guess they have to <laughs> to make this game story work. It's going to make all the characters act dumber than what they really are. And make the story work, basically. Right. It's one of those things, basically. Same problem I had with Dream Drop Distance, alright. Same problem I had, same issue I had what they did with Sora in the uh, later Kingdom Hearts games. They had to make Sora dumber, <laughs> for some reason. Alright, yeah, like they did with Sora, they made him dumber. Just to make the stories work. Because <laughs> Sora got like, I don't know if we have any Kingdom Hearts players in chat, but uh, I know Adriana is. But um... I know Adriana is, but in Kingdom Hearts, right, they, um, made Sora dumber in Dream Drop Distance for some reason. And, uh, it was really annoying how they did that. I missed the big AT bar in the side of the screen. Hopefully they fixed the UI in Kai. Maybe they made the game, but it was only 60 hours, so they needed to force fights to make it longer? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's why. They need to force fights to make it longer. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, they did the exact same thing to Sora and uh, Dream Drop. They just made them really dumb for some reason. I don't know why they did that, but they did, and it's really uh, weird. I guess they need <laughs> to add extra fights, though. No, because the game was only 60. Oh, 
ったのか <laughs> also, Kuro 2 doesn't have much of an antagonist to fight against. That is true. He's really not like an antagonist. Yeah. Yeah, Sora has kind of been held back for progressing as a character for a while. Layer part ending at 3 seems like they're gonna change this, I hope. Namine made him get brain damage. <laughs> Namine made Sora get brain damage. Yeah, they kind of held him back from progressing at all as a character. <laughs> Kind of did that. It's Naminé, blame her, she gave him brain damage. Hopefully KH4 remembers that it ha has FF characters in Sora, Riku, and Kairi. Then they can do stuff instead of us uh, stalling with Disney properties. Oh, right. There was a lot of Disney in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. That game had a lot of Disney in it. Instead of just stalling the whole time. Yeah, like all the interesting stuff happened like at the very end of Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, right at the Keyblade Graveyard. That's where all the interesting stuff happened. Huh. Twelve years ago? God damn. Jesus Christ, that was a long time ago. When Rain was six, yeah, back in Sky. Back in the uh, Sky, the Sky Arc. When she was six years old. Good old Patter Matter. Yeah, back in Sky, right? The whole Disney gimmick was cool at first, but now it's more instead of actual cage story and characters, they need to focus on the way more going forward. Right. Right, yeah, he betrayed the society because they're not supposed to be acting right now. Right, because uh, the Ouroboros said they're not going to do anything for two years. That's the agreement they came to. Right, so he betrayed Ouroboros. No, this is kind of a disorganized organization, right? They got their members backstabbing each other and shit. English. Right. Because they weren't supposed to act for two years.
Yeah, we won't do anything for two years. Never said I would stop my subordinates from going rogue and doing their own thing, though. Yeah, exactly. I don't think he, uh... Right, yeah. I don't think he uh, read the fine print on that deal, did he? Yeah, I don't think he read the fine print on that one. She never said she'd stop her subordinates from going rogue, though. <laughs> so... Yeah, I guess he didn't uh, think about that too much, did he? Mr. President of Calvert. Ah, oh, poor Ren. This island is... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's the multiple personalities. Oh, shit. They're coming out again. Right. It's the personality she used the. Right. It's the personality she used to deal with the mental anguish. Right. Oh, shit. Cross. Wow, this bastard playing this too? Akuraido,邪魔しようってんならただじゃお金が旦那のことだ。そっちも仕込みは済んでやがるみてえだな。そういうことだ。さ、一緒に乗り越えると仕様ぜ、裏解決が。じゃなきゃ分かってるな。仕方ねえ。ただしこっちは利用するだけだ。黄金と野生狼を抑えて、念を落ち着かせるまでな。Damn. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm glad the DG Cole got fucking murdered, bro. God damn, I'm glad those motherfuckers of the DG Cole got murdered. Yeah, I'm glad those bastards got murdered by Ouroboros. That's how you know you're fucked up, but the DG Cole. Imagine trying to play this series starting with Kuro 1 going. Yeah, yo, you know what? Speaking of that, <laughs> I watched that terrible Nissa live stream, and, uh. <laughs> oh, it was bad. They were like, you can play Kuro 1 as a soft reboot of the series. What the fuck? <laughs> that was my. That was my response. I was like, what the fuck? Soft reboot of the series, my ass. A soft reboot of the franchise, my ass, bro. Good luck playing this first. Have fun playing the, the Calvert game first. Yeah, you're gonna be confused as fuck. <laughs> Hero 1 starting point, bars. Bro, who the fuck's gonna start Hero 1? <laughs> Like, this fucking luck, bro. Starting point my ass. <laughs> Yo, I was so mad watching that uh, live stream showing off Daybreak's English English version. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, that that like actually made me mad. <laughs> I was actually pretty fucking mad watching that shit. Like, starting point my ass. <laughs> A soft reboot that requires knowledge of all the prior events. You get with seems legit, yeah. Like what? <laughs> that shit, uh, that shit made me so fucking mad, dude. <laughs> I was like, yeah, good starting point, my ass. 
Yo, I would have started with the, the uh, Calvert games. Oh, fuck. I wouldn't know what's going on here. I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about right now. I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. It's good if it pulls people in, they play Kuro. Gets confused at some point, even more confusing Kuro too, replace from the start. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that's what happens, right? People will get confused in uh, Kuro too, and they'll uh, go back and play the Sky Trilogy. And go back and play uh, Crossbell. Go back and play Cold Steel, then play uh, Kai no Kiseki, Basically, in that order. <laughs> I have not heard the English dub. Have you heard the English dub yet? It feels like Nissa forgot to listen to the original characters or do any research. I have not listened to the English dub, actually. I have not listened to it. Um, I haven't listened to it at all. <laughs> so I already played the uh, Japanese version of the game, so I haven't bothered even listening to the English dub. I didn't even bother <laughs> with that. I'm like, well, I already played this uh, version of the game, so... I didn't even bother. You think Cold Steel? I mean, maybe you can play Cold Steel 1. Okay, Cold Steel 1 and 2 you might be able to play first, maybe? I feel like you either start with Sky or Cold Steel 1 and 2, then go back. Yeah, I feel like Cold Steel 1 and 2 is fine. Cold Steel 1 and 2 is fine. I feel like you can start with those comfortably. But, uh... And not be too confused. Especially Cold Steel 1. It's pretty uh, pretty disconnected from everything else. Yeah, Cold Steel 1. I mean, there's a few references you won't get. Like the cannon that fired at Crossbell. You probably won't understand that reference at all. But, I mean, I, I don't know, man. That's pretty important, though, right? Because you get to see, like, the cannon that they were firing at Crossbell. But then the uh, Subtentrion blocked that shit. I, I don't know, man. I think you just people just need to start with Sky. I don't know. That shit's pretty important, I think. But, uh... I actually start Sky FC four times before starting with Cold Steel 1 and 2. And then going back knowing... You're enough to keep me going? Yeah. I don't I feel like that's pretty important info, right, though? Like, you know that Crossbell is getting attacked. Because they go into that with the Crossbell duology. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of... I don't know. I mean, I think that's kind of important. But that's me, though. I feel like that's an important plot point to know that they uh, fired the cannon at Crossbow. And you get to see it from like the other uh, POV from Erebonia side. I don't know, I feel like that's pretty important to understand the Cold Steel 1. Cole still wanted to do a good job letting you know about the important is really going on. Small gotcha name drop you miss out on. Oh shit, I might have messed up. Um, all right. Oh, we're getting a free S break, nice. I haven't seen this one yet, have I? Well, I think in Cold Steel 2 would be even more confusing though, right? Could you, uh, you play the segment where you play as Lloyd? I don't know, maybe that's just me though. I feel like that'd be more confusing, right? You go, you do that segment where you play as Lloyd. Or whatever in, uh, Cold Steel 2. Like, I don't know, maybe that's just me though. I feel like that'd be more confusing. It's like, wait, what the fuck? Who's this guy? <laughs> Why is the Lloyd important? 
I don't know, maybe it's just me though. I mean, I guess it's just because I've, uh... Hardwood's S-Craft is sick, his S-Craft. He s craft me after the first turn, lol. <laughs> maybe that's just me though, because I, I don't know, just because I played them all in order, I guess. So maybe I feel like it's weird, I guess. Because I would feel like... I'd be, like, kind of confused, right? Because, like, who's this Lloyd guy? And why is he so important? Because there's a segment in Cool Steel 2 where you play as Lloyd. That's a pretty big segment, too. You set up for the next games. I you think the Lloyd segment just gives you a reason to play Sky and Cross. Well, fair enough. It gives you a reason to. To play the Sky and Crossbell game. Because yeah, you do find out about Lloyd and uh and what's been going on over in Crossbell. And that is a good point though. That is a good point. I can see that argument. It is also a very good argument. I kinda want area of effect, yeah. You need area of effect. I kinda want to get everybody here. But you lose the excitement of playing Lloyd, uh. But you lose the excitement of 3D Lloyd, you played Zero and Azure first. Yeah, I guess that is true. You played Zero, you lose the excitement. In short enough, it's short enough that it doesn't become confusing, plus, we are slightly familiar with the cross at this point. Plus, Lloyd and Ritzy have slain during their segment as well. That is true. They do explain uh, pretty well. That is a good point. They explain it as well. Obviously, you can start with Sky, but Cold Steel One and the se Cold Steel One is the second best if you're wanting a more modern entry. Yeah, basically that's true. Yeah, if you want a more modern entry, uh, Cold Steel One's the second best starting. <clears throat> oh man, it's gonna be like if I ever go back to replay the whole franchise again, it's gonna be really hard to go back to Sky. <laughs> Yeah, that's one thing I am not looking forward to with going back to Sky 1. If I ever decide to replay the whole series again for some reason, um, it's going to be really hard for me to go back to Sky now. Because, like, you know, we got all these fun mechanics now, and I just think back to Sky, man. The game was, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the Sky games, but, oh, man, they, uh, I enjoy the Sky games, but they feel so bare-bones comparison to this, <laughs> like... Sky Nightmare? Oh man, you know what? I'm kind of half tempted to try it. I'm kind of half tempted to see if I can do it now that I've gotten better at these games over time. Just remember, AMAC, people can start Sky. Yeah, it is, especially if you're doing SC. Especially if you're doing the uh, filler dodge Sky SC in second chapter. You know, I'm kind of curious. I wonder how I would do on Nightmare. Uh, Nightmare mode now for um, the Sky games. Now I'm more experienced. I am kind of curious. I do. I am kind of tempted to try it and see how I do. 
now that I have a little more experience with these games than I did when I first started. <laughs> Maybe I would uh, do a lot better than I did the first try on Sky Nightmare. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be as much of a disaster now that I kind of I have way more experience. Nightmare for Sky with Bounce for New Game Plus. Damn, you rather play Abyss? <laughs> you rather play Abyss mode in Reverie? So, Amec, you can replay as long as New Game Plus. It was balanced around New Game Plus. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Rather play Abyss Reverie than Nightmare Sky. <laughs> New Game Plus does make replays of this series better. Having done it at least three times, they're more fun for the Cold Steel arcs. More for the Cold Steel arcs. Damn. Oh shit, this is a good moment. Oh shit. Right. Oh shit. Damn. God damn it. <laughs> Joshua, Lue, Luve, Pattern Matter, Stell, and Tita. Yeah, Ren closure is one of the only completely good moments for the game, even if it's a bit out of nowhere. Damn. Ninef Land is paradise? I figured. I figured when she said, uh, you hid this from me. Yeah, I kind of figured when you hid this, I wouldn't remember this place. But yeah, this is paradise. Goddamn. That's uh, paradise. See you across. How are you up to? Damn. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. Kind of figured when he said, uh, you know, I kind of blocked your memory of this place. Cross Rebellion? Rin is happy? 
Oh, we also met Ace, too. Right. After 12 games, we can finally have Rin closure? Finally. After 12 games. Right. Right, so, holy shit. so you transferred the grievances into a deadly virus? Oh, holy fuck. Right, so he turned into a bio weapon, huh? Damn. That's fucked up. Wow, that's fucked up, dude. Holy shit. That is fucked up. Okay. That is beyond fucked. Man, Luve, rest in peace, Luve. Yeah, it seems like technology is rapidly advancing. Man, rest in peace to Luve, though. He was one of my favorite characters in the uh, series. You're right. We are now turning co curses into codes. <laughs> well, we got some Ren closure. My bad, it's weird German speak. It's Luve. My bad, his name is weird German speak. Luve, that's how it's pronounced. It's one of my favorite characters, though. God, the story of Hommel. God, the story of Hommel is so fucked up. All right, she's finally going to face her past. The DG cult. Right. Yep. Man, these bastards are God damn, the fucking DG cult.
I think it's part of a territory killed by the cold at the time. Right, there is that weird ass abandoned village too. Hmm. Is there an, as they died as Right. Right, so protect yourself. Even Ouroboros thought it was so bad. Yeah, even Ouroboros wiped them off the fucking map. Like, Jesus Christ. Huh. Right! Oh, this is the Azure! Oh, shit! Right, this is the Azure... Oh, the Azure tree, yeah. This is the thing, yeah, that was causing all the, um... Fuck, what was the name of those things? Our boy Cross, a true hero. Cross was a true hero. Shit, what was the name of those things? The really big fucking monster enemy. I forgot their name, but... Cryptids! Yeah, the cryptids, yeah. Yeah, these Azure plants are summoning the fucking cryptids, yeah. Yeah, cryptids, yeah, I remembered. Yeah, they were the- they were called the fucking cryptids, yeah. The really big fuck-off monster, guys. The Genesis, and there was the cryptids, yeah. Right, the cryptids. Yeah, the Genesis was the medicine that they made out of it. Then there was the big fuck-off monster thing, the cryptids. And there was the Adger tree back in Crossbell. Right. The Genesis. Peromagrass? When I came here, Peromagrass resonated with Cross. I was in the Despot Mine and manifested using me as a catalyst. Hmm. So that was the big plot twist Jeremy wanted me to see. Is that the big plot twist Jeremy wanted me to see? Wait, Quatri. Wait a minute, wasn't Quatri- Oh shit, right. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, one thing I just thought about, wasn't Van also experimented on by the fucking cult? Right, we never learned more about that, did we? Wasn't Van also experimented on by the fucking cult as well? Right, we never really learned much more about that in Kuro 1. But Van was also experimented on and shit by the cult, right? He was also another one of the children. Yep, but there is still night... Yeah, but there is still the night of day two. Right, we never learned about Van's uh, history with this cult, right? Because he got experimented on, right? We n right, we were going to learn about that shit? Because they just kind of left it off in Kuro 1. Yeah, they mentioned it in the first game, but we never got any more detail on that uh, topic at all. So, it just kind of said he was experimented on. Van's symbolic core was removed, but he was 10 when he was kidnapped. Yeah, because Van was kidnapped. Yeah, I remember Van got kidnapped. Right. We're going to learn more details about that. Misunderstanding. 
Cool. Semi S rank bracers. <laughs> that fever was caused by pushing himself too hard, but still. Yeah, he was a teen when he was kidnapped. Shit. Reckon he's the same as you. <clears throat> oh, right, that it changed at the tower. Said you come a lot further in your recovery if I completely different. Whoa, what the fuck? Wait, there was another kid? Wait, there was a- So wait, his name was Quatri. Wait, there was another kid and his name was Quatri? Wait, whoa, 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 what? It's not the Quatri that we know? Huh? Wait, but wait a minute. We're just gonna like skim over that? Wait, we're just gonna skim over that. It's not the quatri we know. Wait, what? What the fuck? Quatri's gone. Hmm. He was just gone, huh?
I've been waiting for you? Oh, what the fuck? Hardwood? I've got to head out. Back. Gotta head up, but might be back later on. We're still playing. Enjoy, Amac. An interesting custom cut out soon. I'll see you later, man. Have a nice night. And I'll see you. I'll see you later. Wait, what? That you're a foreign entity in this world. Oh, shit. Wait, what? Damn. Hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Give me a second. This is... This is getting crazy, Jesus Christ. Alright, cool, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I had to use the restroom.
All right, nice. Shadow of Soul. All right, start security level two.
That combines advanced arts and the fire element. Okay. Do it if you're staying behind. But all right, let's get into it, guys. いたぞ。一緒にいるのはやっぱりあなたの仕業ね。おじさん。人聞きが悪いね。俺はただ誘導しただけだぜ。お前らにしてもそこがあんたの何より立ちの悪いところだろうが。カトル君、どうしたんですか反応がありません。てめえ、一体何をしやがった。ほんの一押し。いや、蓋をしっくらいだ。Wait、what? Wait, what? Wings made of sharks? So wait, Van's a demon and he's an angel. Okay. 
せめてお前らも楽しんでいけよこれで終わりじゃつまらねえのは俺も同じせいぜい次はうまくやるんだな So wait, Quattro's an angel and Van's a demon, okay. Oh. Right. Right. Quattro becomes an angel and wipes out the island. God damn. He just wipes out the island. Quattro becomes an angel and wipes out the island. Oh, this time set Suna. She's Suna. So Suna is gonna be with us. She's Suna. Right. Right. She's Suna is gonna be with us. クリオに通じる気配とでも言うべきかな夜になって島の各所3カ所くらいか昼間は感じなかったのにあちこちで妙にざわめき出したのを感じてねこの地に生まれようとする何かその復活をことほき待ちわびるかのような Things are getting uh, more than interesting. No way, I just got myself killed again, okay.
Let's go build up some uh, CP real quick. Critical damage and normal attack. <gasps> this is for uh, this is for Swin. We got another crit piece. It's a hundred percent. <laughs> Could have what's a hundred percent? Oh shit! Oh, critical damage plus a hundred percent. God damn. This seems kind of nice. <laughs> oh shit! This was a hundred percent. I see you saw. I see you have saw the angel. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Quatri's an angel. So, Van's a demon, and Quatri's an angel. That makes a lot of sense. Right. Van's a demon, Quatri's an angel.
Oh shit, he cut it in half. That should do it. Right. Shit's getting uh, really interesting. I mean, is that everything? Let's save before we die again, I guess. Wait a minute, where'd we go? There's something else in the map. Right. Alright, there's my turbo. Alright, we got turbo through this. Um. And we did know uh, there was another kid named Quatri that Ren supposedly knew. That's also interesting, too, to know that. Huh. Yeah, Quatri is one of the name. Yeah, Quatri is one of them in uh, Sky Third Two. Huh. Interesting. Quatri's the name of one of the kids in uh, Sky Third as well. Huh. What? There was a theory that Mechlior is crossed back when Kuro won. Mechlior is crossed too, back in Kuro won due to Mechlior's character. Design being old style and simple. Ah, that they think Mechlior was crossed. Right. Damn, when that was crossed, that's a, uh... I guess the shit really got to him. If that was crossed, we know that's not, but... Yeah, I do. Right. Right, we know it's not cross now, but Damn. Oh fuck, don't remind me but what happened to those kids, man. If they ever remake the Sky Trilogy, please do not remake that scene. Just leave it as it was. Don't remake it. I don't want to see it in 3D. I don't think I can handle seeing that shit in 3D. Jesus Christ. 
These are the kids. Wow. So we finally got to go to paradise. Damn. Took us 12 games to get here, but, uh... Jesus. That would be super horrible. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need an RTX graphic remake, exactly. Exactly. Sometimes you don't need one. The one place you didn't want to look at for all those years. Right. Sometimes we don't need an RTX remake. Wait, did I prevent this from happening, though? Wait a minute, did I prevent this from happening? It's happening the same as before. Wait a minute, it's happening the same. ま、This is the finale. The finale boss fight. That's not looks like. Akumade Ryukno Kyokua Umaketa. Utsuwa Toshtewa Sudan. Utsuwa Dato. Yep, here we go. Masa Utskasri. I gave your eye, I appreciate it.
Nice, those crits are doing a lot of damage now. Jesus fuck, dude! <laughs> Yo, we did 10,000 damage off a of crit? Jesus Christ, dude. Dude, yeah, this swim build is uh, coming together nicely. Jesus Christ, win in this uh, crit build I'm working on. Yeah, this shit's coming together fantastically. God damn. <laughs> Should just hit Tinky off that one attack. God damn, dude. Jesus Christ. Be grateful you have Swin. Yeah, I'm grateful I have Swin. Oh man, I'm so happy we got Swin back, man. I like crit build, so. Why, are they gonna take Swin away later? <laughs> Swin is uh, really good. <laughs> They're gonna take him away, man? He's so good. <laughs> I'm glad we got Swin for this party right now. I'm grateful I got Swin, bro. He is insane. <laughs> He's insanely good. God, shit did so much uh, damage. Shit, explosion just now? Ah, from the villa? Oh, shit. I don't use swim much? Uh, fair enough. Yeah, I'm glad I have a swim in my party. Who's your uh, main team, Jeremy? Who do you uh, normally run on your team? I think Zen can handle all those robots, man. I think Zen can handle those. I do use Rosette a lot. Rosette's really good. She's got unbelievably good utility. So does Ren. That probably could have been more damage if I buffed Ren before I did it, too. 
And, oh, and it also gives me extra critical, yeah. So, Rin, Rosette, Swin, and Van. That should be my team. And maybe Agnes as a support. That sounds like that'll be my uh, squad. Okay. Sounds like that'll be my uh, main team, I, be I guess. Right. Vance, she's not Nadia Rosette Quatri. Nice, nice. Nice is a pretty solid team. Shizuna. Shizuna. Right, okay. Speaking of that, I have a bunch of droplets I'm just not using. Nobody uses Judith? Dang. Hey, Mark, welcome in. No Judith love, I see. No one plays Judith. No Judith love, I see. Damn. Been a while, Mark? Yeah, I hope we've been doing good, though, man. I see uh, nobody plays Judith. <laughs> no Judith love. そうだな。器としての完成。本来なら人の身で耐えられるもんじゃねえ。完全崩壊せず耐えられちまうからこそ。Dude is not bad just mid. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> just mid lol. てめえ。器。さっきも言っていたな。それがこの島で研究されていた。教団の本流とは異なる何かってわけだ。ああ。全く持って外れてたってわけでもねえが。神の器。奴らはそう。ガッツベストのそうって for a different organization and purpose? Really? Hmm. Totally deny the goddess. Welcome their one true god. God's vessel plan. Oh, shit. Try so eugenics, basically. Yonde what the fuck? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. 
あの研究所でも人格の移植もその一環ということにいいむしろその計画の根幹を担っていたんでしょう神を下ろす実験と称して器とやら人格を植え付ける手段としてそれって<笑>あくまでお前さんはサンプルで人工的に植え付け始めたのはそれ以降らしいな。Oh, shit. ちなみにこの坊主は楽園の出身じゃねえ。別の場所にあったロッチで生まれたらしいぜ。教団に所属していた両親が我が子に実験を受けさせ。Wow, wait! Both of his parents belonged to the c o l and offered his. Offer their child for a human experimentation. Holy fuck. Man, he's some fucked up parents, dude. Jesus. So he's the most promising candidate for the plan. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Quatri is both male. What? The most promising candidate for the plan, an individual who's both male and female at the same time. Wait. Damn, dude. Damn, his own parents did that. Well, the p a r e n t were born and born and born and born and born and born and born. So he spared the most gruesome experiments. That's why he, she was insecure, right? Because he's both male and female. Right. I see. That's why he was, Quachi was so insecure. Become a vessel worthy of this hand of God. Right. You know what? I always wondered why she,、uh, why he or she, or just Quatri did his、um, bath towel so weird. So that's why. Alright, l Falcom, I see you. That's why his、uh, bath towel was always so weird, right? You'd have one to cover the chest, and the other to cover the bottom. That, okay, that makes a lot of sense now why he would do it that way. Why Quatri would do it that way. Right, that's why he... <laughs> I see. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that's why he would have that. That does make sense now. Right, that makes a lot more sense now that I think about it. It's also the swimsuit, too.
何あの時の俺と同じ道をなぞろうとしてやがる思い出せお前が悲しませないと誓った大切な人たちは誰なのか教団の連中か狂ってお前を差し出した両親か違うだろうがてめえが筋を通すべき相手を間違ってんじゃねえカトルサルシオン Yeah, Van Spit them facts, bro その通りですどうか確かなものを手放さないでくださいあなたがその手で掴んだ絆とえそれこそがあなたを Whoever were his parents, they can go to hell Yeah, they try to sacrifice him to the cult. Hakaseo, <laughs> Damn, power of friendship. Right, so we're finally ending the DG cult. Finally. Right, we're finally putting it into the fucking DG cult. Finally. Finally putting it into this madness of the DG cult. Man, fuck Quatri's parents, bro. Man. Quatri's parents need to be under the fucking jail. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, you know I said Rin's parents are bad parents? Fucking Christ. Uh, Quatri's parents are 20 times worse! I said Rin has some bad parents, bro. Quatri's parents are 80 times worse! Like, goddamn. I thought Rin had some shitty fucking parents, dude. Jesus. And I thought Rin's parents were shitty. God damn. This is like 20 times worse, dude. It's like a billion times worse. Jesus. Well, the reason I said that is because, uh, they basically never looked for her. The reason I say that is they never really looked for her, right? I felt like, you know, they should have looked for her, but they never did, right? That's the only reason I say that is because they, uh, never looked for Ren, though. Like, they never, like, actively looked for her. Which, uh, really surprised me they never, uh, tried to find her again. Yeah, what's surprising they never tried to find her, though. I feel like they never looked. That's the reason I said they were bad parents, because, like, they never looked, right? Like, I get they were in a shitty situation, but, uh... Like, you'd think they'd go back and look for the kid, right? I mean, I would think I would go back and look, but I guess I've never been in that position, though. Yeah, you think you would go back and look for your kid, you know? Oh, that's just me, though. You think you would just go back and look at some point? That's a cool uh, They went back to Calvary and saw the burnt house, and Dachi died, that's all. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. I was like, man, just cool. I was thinking, dang, like, you just didn't even look for her? Like. There's been a whole lot of fighting her, so. I guess there would have been a whole lot of fighting her, really, huh? Alright, nice. Nice clean uh, 10k off of that. 
All right, maybe they're not as bad as I thought. I guess I misjudged them. Okay. I've misjudged her parents. They're not as bad as I thought. Weren't they gone for like a year or something? Yeah, they were basically gone for like a year. But she got kidnapped, so... Rin got kidnapped and, uh, yeah. It's a complicated situation. Dang. But Quachi's parents, bro, they're beyond fucked up. Jesus Christ. Like, Quachi's parents are beyond fucked up. Yeah, Quachi's parents are beyond fucked. The fact they would do that shit to their own kid, dude. Jesus. They needed the move because the fire company's going bad, so they left Rin. Yeah. And then DG Colt came. Right, yeah, the father's company wasn't working out, so he had to leave. He uh, owed some, uh, he owed a lot of money. Right. And yeah, they feel regret for what happened. I mean, I'll give them that. They feel bad. Well, I guess Rin never really reveals herself either to her parents. Right, Rin never uh, revealed herself. I never really said, hey, I'm here. Yeah, only the colon. You see, I will give her parents that, though. I will give her parents that, that, uh, Rin never really revealed herself. So, like, you know, it's a... It's a complicated, uh, situation with Rin. I will give her parents that, uh, it's a little more complicated than that. Man, Trails of Zero? Yeah. It's a sob story, man. Her plot? Yeah, it is. It's probably awkward telling your parents I was actually alive, that you weren't dead. And you basically uh, didn't die. Rin wanted them to live normally without um, them knowing that, that she actually survived, basically, that she actually survived it. Even more though, telling though, even more though, telling them I was raped and abused, why they left her.
This shit's about to hit like a fucking truck. This shit's about to hit like a truck. Oh god damn! Oh god damn! Shit hits like a goddamn truck. Sixteen K lol, yeah, that shit hits like a fucking truck, dude. <laughs> Yo, I got that shit hitting like a goddamn truck. God damn, that shit is like a fucking truck. That's a shit ton of damage, god damn. <gasps> Yeah, I only got 300 XP though, yeah. The fact you got 300 XP only at a boss probably means you're over leveled party, yeah. We got uh, 300 XP, yeah, we only got 300. Yeah, it's kind of surprising when we got 300, but... I guess I was literally fighting everything I saw, though, so... Well, I beat Setsuna, that's what, um... I beat that optional Setsuna fight, and that's what, like, um... That's what, like, leveled me up, is I beat that optional Setsuna fight. <laughs> yeah, and that Setsuna fight put me, like, the level 40 or something stupid. <laughs> That shit was the hardest fight in this chapter, damn. Yeah, that optional Sasuna fight. That optional fight was the hardest thing in this chapter, to be honest. That shit put me straight to level 40 after I beat it. Right, yeah, that fight was uh, rough for the 5 SP. That put me way over leveled. Yeah, Quattro, you don't have to be what you don't want to be. Damn. Yeah, that uh, Sisuna fight. Sisuna fight was like way harder. 
Shitsuna, she was way fucking harder <laughs> than this. That was the true final boss in this chapter. You get 5 SP for doing it, so... Gives you an ass ton of XP, too. If you win. Damn. He almost gave up. お見て未来離脱します。千の破壊者。おそらくまだ何かある<笑> Alright. Yeah, that uh, Shisuna fight uh, leveled me up quite a bit. <laughs> Now you feel bad for all the victim who fell to the DG cult? Yeah, there's a lot of victims. Corrosion too? I mean, zero point having corrosion one on. Alright. Zero point of running a corrosion one. Well, I don't have any range for Phil Command. I rather swap in a range person. I have no range for uh, the skill command. Ah, uh, maybe that doesn't matter, okay. Let's to activate that somehow. Right. Alright, well, I guess we're going back up <laughs> real quick. Art? 
art? Oh, um, yeah, let me get an art person here. Oh, right, you know what? I just thought about that. Maybe it is art. Right, I forget we can do this. Right, I forget that we can do that now. Yeah, I always forget that we can do that now. <laughs> forget that's a thing now. Yeah, we can do that now. Right. Okay. Oh, I would light the candle. Yeah, I forget we can do that. For some reason. This has probably been the most interesting part of the game so far, not gonna lie. It's probably the highlight of the game, is uh, this island. This chapter is probably the highlight. Yeah, I guess art, yeah. Alright, so they incorporate art into their puzzles now. Right. Okay. Cool stuff. Right, I forgot I can do that. For some reason. Thank you, Jeremy, I appreciate that. I forgot we can do that. Oh, yeah, this intermission is the most peak of the game. Yeah, it's probably the best part of the game. Screw Act 3? Oh, no. All oh, right, I'm gonna be... Oh, fuck, I'm gonna be playing Act 3! Oh, no! Oh, no, fuck, I'm gonna be playing Act 3 after this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, I get the Act 3 experience? All right. Oh, I'm gonna get the Act 3 experience, all right. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm about to get the act three experience. Oh fuck. <laughs> I guess my fun with the game is gonna be over soon. <laughs> I guess the fun part of the game is gonna be over soon. Oh no, I gotta play act three. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Some, uh... Oh yeah, I gotta play Act Three soon. Shit, <laughs> I gotta. Oh uh, shit, I gotta play Act Three. Oh fuck. <laughs> Yo, can we get a little bit of consistency, game? Can we be good throughout the whole game? Can we get a little bit of consistency, though? Like consistency is awesome, man. Falcom, gotta get a little bit of consistency up in here, man. That's all I'm asking. Can I get a little bit of consistency with this one? Let's enjoy the characters. Let's enjoy the characters and gameplay. Ignore the plot. All right. <laughs> you know, I'm going to enjoy the gameplay, you know. I, I like how I asked Falcom. Can I get a little bit of consistency? <laughs> can I get some consistent consistency? Like, you know, a little bit of that? Well, I'm going to enjoy the gameplay. I'm going to just enjoy the gameplay, then. <laughs> I'm going uh, to enjoy the gameplay. From here on out. <laughs> I mean, I thought the plot here was pretty decent, at least the ending of this. The stuff about the DG cult was interesting, so... We learned a lot more about him in this uh, intermission, so... Like, I thought this part of the plot was interesting. The plot is still okay. The uh, 
Which are one of the best, but you will see later. Okay, so the plot stays okay. Right, basically, I don't want to heal Ren. Right, because we're going for that whole uh, damage build. Speaking of that, uh, we did get a new Arch Driver. Right, we got the, uh, this one. Ooh, shit, we got any S+. Plus? Ooh, Divine Phoenix, right. Because he wants to hit our magic anyway. Give her shield. And then, uh, right, because he, wanna, he wants to have high level arts to nuke. Right, that's what I want to build her for. Right. Leave her unhealed on purpose. It's kind of cool we learn about the DG cult, though. That is uh, more stuff I was hoping to learn about. I still have to test this. Let's go. Yeah, I might kill this thing too fast. Might have, nope. Be able to test it. All right, Mark. Have a good night, man. I appreciate you coming out, bro. Appreciate you coming out, man. Yeah, have a good night, Mark, and I'll see you, man.
It should be, yeah, that's good to hear, man. Oh, that is a shit ton of damage. Uh, oh, shit. That is a dumb amount of damage, not gonna lie. Yeah, Mark, we'd love to have you back, man. Yeah, that is a stupid amount of damage. You gotta think about that. You get a bigger combo and you can land this? Jesus Christ. You get that back of EP too. Okay, nice, nice. Nice clean 12k damage. Yeah, good night, Mark. I'll see you, man. Right, I want to go everybody in with CP, right? So, um... All right, time to dip. Santo Q, 
Alright, looks like they're gonna fight me now. Alright, here we go. Oh, the game where they had to all kill each other. Right. Whoa! The mad bank went to death. They killed every single one of them. Wow. Knuckly or is a sick bastard, dude. God damn, what a really. He was a sick bastard. Oh, these bastards are just as fucking... ジェロード。庭園の最高傑作ってのを自称するだけはある。そこを競い積もりは全くないけど、はっきり言って哀れかな。さらってきた子供たちを教育するという望ましい育成システムを持っていた庭園。You're Wait, what? Right, they were born there. そういう意味では、ホームって感じかな。自分たちで潰しちゃったけど。ま、そんなわけで、自分のあり方に疑問なんかこれっぽっちもねえんだわ。おかげで。Right, they're born there. Oh shit! Another reactor bomb? Oh fuck. Another one? Ah fuck. That's the sword that. That's his. Oh shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Right? Are you fucking kidding me? Right, that's the same sword they did it last time. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Ah, shit. It's that fucking reactor. Ah, oh, fuck. It's that thing again. Yeah, how the fuck do they have that shit? Anyway. Sword was missing. The sword itself was an artifact. 
なるほどなエレインたちが掴んできたっつう情報要するにアルマータの遺産はゲネシスの外郭だけじゃなかったわけだはっはごめんと,とはいえアルマータが持ってたもんじゃないマフィアのデータをもとに13工房ってところで複製された試作品でな国防外廃棄区画に持ち込まれたアーローラっていうのと同じまあ剣の方は王国に運び込まれる前にこっそり盗んだだけだけどそう全ておじさんと間接的に博士の仕込みだったわけね、really? で,ですが反応兵器はもう起爆はできないはずではええ複製されようがあくまでもそれは未完成品です去年の事件ではシャードと古代遺物の力で強引に起爆させていましたそしてあの魔剣は大きな血を引くジェラール・ダンテスしか使えないはずだったら試してみるかよおっさんの許可をもらってるしな大陸史上最大の大量破壊兵器正直どんなもんか興味があったんだまあ起爆したが最後僕らも無事には済まなそうだけど私の力があれば Yeah the reactor bomb and only grave can can detonate it? Yeah because the sword's an artifact Right the sword's an artifact itself Right, so they needed the sword to activate those fucking bombs again. Right, because the sword itself was one. Not because it was special. <laughs> right. What happened in Sorel Village? So now they got the sword again, too. Jordan, the night. Come in, oil. Ah, yes, sir. I'm not a good one. Tony, you can't get all sides up. Could they, you mother, my shiggy? Said Danny, could he guys at the night? So correct, sir. Tony, I didn't want to tell it. She joined the hammer at the party. Yeah, he was a great antagonist, yeah. Yeah, he was a really good antagonist. Too bad he was only for one game, though. Yeah, he was a great antagonist. I kind of was hoping he'd be the... T well, I guess since he dies, it couldn't really happen, but yeah. I was going to say, I was kind of hoping he'd be the antagonist throughout the whole uh, arc, but... Uh, Kind of hoping be the antagonist of the whole arc, but uh, yeah, that didn't really happen because of what he died. So, couldn't really be the antagonist of the whole arc because he died in the first game. Van killed him. Yeah, it's kind of hoping be the antagonist throughout the whole um, arc, basically. Like an Osborne, basically. I'm gonna get started, so. Right, I gotta get damage going out, so. Maybe 1.5, 1.7. Right, 26,000 with the uh, art, nice. 26,000 with the art? Nice. Good. Nice. 26k with the art. Unless let's stop compoing the crow thing. I mean, it's an Erebonia, man. I don't think they do that here. I mean, they might pull the crow thing and have Grad come back with Kaino Kaseki. Bring his ass back for uh, Kaino Kaseki. Okay, let's trap and throw that crit. Okay. 
10,000, nice. Are Elysium suddenly copy and pasting again? Alright, Elysium suddenly copy and pasting shit again. I gotta see this shit. Alright, let's see. They got their uh, Team S craft. Whoa. I don't care if I die to this, I just wanna see what it looks like. I prefer not to die, but, uh, you know, I just wanna see what this thing is. Holy shit. Uh, I don't even care if I died to this or not, so. Right, well, good thing I got a uh, thing to help with that. Right. Alright, I need my shield. That was a cool S craft, though. No, it's definitely the finale fight, yeah. Right, they can storm off each other now, too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that shit just did 11,000? God damn.
Wait. Ah, uh, did we just instant die because of that dumb shit? Oh, come on, man. Another force loss, bro, man. This starting to become Xenoblade 2 levels of bad, bro. Come on, another force loss? What the fuck? Bro, come on, man. I'm getting Xenoblade 2 flashbacks. Another force loss because the plot said so. Bruh. Another force loss because the plot said you lose. Alright, bro. I'm getting Xenoblade 2 flashbacks. Oh, fuck, man. Right. Another force loss. Boom. It's all going up in flames. Right, another force loss. Hey, at least, uh, I mean, that's true, yeah. That is very true, at least it's gone from the map. Yeah, at least it's just gone from the... At least it's gone from the map, yeah. Yeah, it's true. At least that place is off the map. I mean, that's guess that's a good benefit. At least it wasn't a complete waste, right? でも、あんなのと一緒にされるのはちょっと不愉快だね。まあ、最後のくだらない余興には付き合ってあげたけどさ。スウィン君たちの言っていた。組織が壊滅するタイミングで残党たちで殺し合ったってやつか。ああ。
いつもよりも面倒はなかったかもなそうして殺してまた殺して殺して殺して殺しまくったさらに殺して殺して殺して殺して殺して殺して殺して They do know if they blow the bomb up they kill themselves too, right? These dumb fucks do know they set off the bomb they killed themselves, right? They do know they blow themselves the fuck up too, right? These idiots do know that, right? They don't much attachment to life? I guess so. そいつらを一気に掃除しようった時の気分って言ったらたまんなかったぜまああのメルキオルをこの手で殺せなかったのだけは心残りだったけどな降ってるなるほど庭園の最高傑作ってのを自称するだけはあるそこを競うつもりは
Right, you have way less health than her. Right in this match, we can heal. Okay. No, I can get out of that shadow too. Right. Alright, it looks like they're getting ready to die before some time. Well, at least we didn't die from the S-Craft, which is a big help. So... I'm gonna have Anya, Agnes come in here and heal everybody real quick. Right. I guess he'll be uh, well needed. Right, except for Ren, that's fine.
Should I get everybody in here at once? The advantage would be fine. Me going, enjoy the intermission climax later. Nice. Nice, I appreciate it. Damn, we're not in the climax yet? Damn, I thought we'd be at the climax by now. Yeah, I guess this is a uh, really long, huh? I guess the intermission climax is a really long. I thought this would be the climax, or at least the final boss. But yeah, see ya, man. I uh, appreciate it. Alright, well, Ben's doing what he needs to do, so... That makes these bastards die at the same time, though. 3,041. Damn. Right at the layoff on the AOE. Really, the boy is tankier. One's gonna get a guaranteed crit. Alright, now we can never touch her again. Well, no, nah, I think we can. I just gotta make sure not to hit the chick, because the chick can't heal. Gotta make sure not to hit her. I'm just show some restraint here. Alright, I don't even restore my items either. Kinda wet. Let's show a little bit of restraint in this fight. I don't think he's gonna kill. Alright, last tip we can do in the girl. Right. Right. Oh shit, another one? Right, I gotta show some restraint, unfortunately. I can't just go balls to the wall. Because if I do, we're gonna die, so. I cannot go balls to walls in this fight. Like I like to do normally. Normally wouldn't mind going balls to wall in a fight like this, but uh the game doesn't want me to. Alright, I should be able to take him out at the same time I get Ren back up. Dan should be able to tank these two and uh, finish it off. Yeah, I should be able to finish this off. No, we'll kill both at the same time, though. That's crap. That's crap, go burr! That's crap, go burr!
Nice, okay. We did it! We took him out at the same exact time. Oh, we did it! I was able to take him out. That's Craft Go Burr! <laughs> right, I was able to take him out. Right, I was able to pull it off. I have to kill them both at the same time. Right. Bruh, I ain't going easy on you little shits. I had to fight you little shits twice because of this dumbass gimmick. Thank you, babe, I appreciate it. Yo, this is a stupid ass gimmick, ain't gonna lie to you. This is a dumbass gimmick. This punishes you for going balls to the walls. Yeah, she would definitely detonate that shit. エルダリオン家の千代引く人間だけのはずだ。現代に残っていたのはあのジェラールダンペス。いや。ジェラールダリオンだけだった。ストゥーペラス gimmick fight. やつとどういう関係だ。Whoa, wait a minute. These little shits. God, these fucking annoying little shits. タロットの小悪かなと数字のコードネームがあんのは知ってるか？だけど僕たちにはちょっとだけ特別なコードネームが与えられてたんだ。ダブルイ。父親が受け継いでいたエルダリオンの頭文字を重ねた名前。はあ
<laughs> he did the fucking meme. He's like, huh? <laughs> he pulled the hum, the hum meme. <laughs> Damn, it shot off the fucking wall, huh? Right. あんたらがおっさんの企みを止められるか。あとは高みの見物と洒落むか。そんじゃな。Right. <laughs> <笑>いい気合いじゃねえか。そうと決まれば行きましょう。Damn, this game, uh, this intermission chapter is really long for intermission, though. Mm. Right. We're not about the intermission. How much do we have left? I still gotta work in the morning, too, so. Damn. This must be a pretty long intermission. Right. Right, yeah, I never go to the cult for tonight, guys. Yeah, we'll call it for tonight. Yeah, I never go to the cult for today. Yeah, that was a long intermission, damn. Yeah, she finally overcame her past, yeah. Damn, well, good luck to good luck to people playing who are new to the series trying to win that fight. Jesus Christ. You gotta figure out how to do it at the same time. Yeah, the red magic build is nuts. But alright guys, I guess we'll call it here and uh, yeah. I guess we'll pick this up tomorrow and we'll see the finale tomorrow. So, alright, I'll see you later. Have a good one. But yeah, she finally overcame her past. Like, doesn't even have a sausage, too, and that's just already a new thing.